We are ready for our road trip. School got out yesterday, so today we woke up and got packed and we're heading on a road trip. Hey Jensen, do you like this car? Yes. <laughs> do you like it better than our other car? Let's get a white car. Let's get a white car. Let's get a white car? I know. Derek rented us this, what is it, like a Nissan Rogue. It's a lot bigger than my usual Honda Accord. And it's super nice. Jensen keeps going, I like this one. I like this one. Derek's still in school. He's working today and tomorrow and next week. So he wasn't able to come on our road trip, but my family is having like a little family reunion. So we're headed up there. We're gonna kick off the summer and then come back and I have jury duty on Monday. So it'll be a quick thing, but I think we have everything we need. I've got my water. I've got my reusable cup for all the coffee that I'll eventually be drinking, but I'm trying not to yet. I don't wanna have to stop and pee. We just went to the store and got some snacks, fruit and cookies, and my favorite. I haven't listened to an Audible book in years, but everybody keeps recommending this one where the crawdads sing. We have about 10 hours to go, so I figure I can probably make it through this one. What's that? You like this one? No, it's crash. Crash. No, there's no crash. It's crash. No, there's no there will be no crashing whatsoever. In fact, before we get on the road, Jensen, let's say a little prayer. Jensen say, Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you that we get to go on a road trip. We pray that you'll keep us safe. <laughs> and that we'll have fun. We'll have fun. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, I know your prayers work, Jensen. So we're gonna be all good. Okay, let's give Mimi a call and let her know we are on our way. Okay, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've made it to the first stop on our trip. We usually stop at this point and get like some caffeine or a snack, but there are outlet stores here that I've never been to and I forgot my sunglasses in my car. And I have a good like seven hours left of driving and I, I need some sunglasses, so we are gonna make a quick stop. I'm a couple chapters into my audiobook. I'm just not used to reading this way, like I never, listen to books but it's perfect for a road trip especially since i don't have a co-pilot an adult co-pilot anyway nobody really to talk to so this is perfect it's making the drive go by faster and this is a pretty good book to listen to while you drive i think it's a little bit hard for me to picture everything that's happening it jumps back and forth between two different like times it's like the 50s and then the 70s and it would be nice if i could like go back and look at the page and like reference things but we'll be fine it's really good so far i'm a couple chapters in all right we're gonna get out and go find some sunglasses all right we found some sunglasses and i changed my outfit isn't this dress just the cutest i went into lucky thinking they might have sunglasses and they didn't but they had this so i just changed into it in the bathroom because it was so cute and then these sunglasses are really comfortable and like totally making a difference already nice little like 15 minute stop here why do i feel like it's about to get longer <laughs> jensen's having a blast on his little kindle fire thing over there and we are finally stopping for gas. I don't really know where we are, but we have still maybe like four hours or so left to go. I was trying to wait till Stockton to stop, but we need gas and I gotta go to the bathroom. So also, I'm about 14 chapters in to where the crawdads sing. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And so I still feel, well, I'm a little bit thrown off because I'm listening to it. So that's one thing that is kind of making it difficult. And then like you keep reading because you want to see how these two stories merge because they seemingly have nothing in common. And so you want to keep going to see like, you know, as, as time passes with um, Kaya's story, hers is getting closer and closer to Chase's story. So somehow they're going to be connected, but it's just like, Kaya is such a weird character because she doesn't really talk. 
She doesn't have any language. She doesn't really have any memories. Like, what is her personality supposed to be? Like, if I were doing a character analysis of her, what does she do? She doesn't interact with anybody except for jump in every so often. So it's kind of weird. Like, you've really felt for her when she's little and her mom leaves and everything, but then like as she gets older and still just stays by herself all the time, it's like, who is this person? And I guess that's how you're supposed to feel. <laughs> oh, goodness. I guess that's how you're supposed to feel about her and that's how the people of the town feel about her and they're, they like call her the Marsh Girl and stuff, but like, that is weird. She doesn't ever interact with anyone and she can't hardly talk. So it is odd, but I'm definitely intrigued and I wanna know what happens. So I, I think I'm on like chapter 15 or something. I know a lot of people have read this one, so if you're also reading it, maybe you're feeling the same way. I just feel like I need to talk to somebody about this book. All right, so anyway, we gotta do potty break, gas break, wow. Get this, get this little one some snacks and then get back on the road because we got a long way to go. Jensen, what are you playing? What is that? <laughs> you are silly. It's so fire. There's fire? It's fire Oh. Look. Which one do you want? It's yeah, there's so many different ones. Do you want that one? Yeah. Owlet. Do you want to get Owlet? Yeah. Oh, is it hard to get it out? I'll help you. Okay. Buzz Lightyear, just like your shirt. That would be perfect. Okay, we're making one last stop. We have about 50 miles to go. Gotta go to the bathroom. He finally woke up from his nap and started singing tractor songs immediately. <laughs> That's a good song. It's a blippy song. So we're gonna pop in here real quick. I'm on chapter 24 of Where the Crawdads Sing. Couple thoughts, this is just like turning into like a traveling book review. Okay, the author writes beautifully. Some of the phrases in this book are just amazing. I kind of wish that I had the physical book so I could just go through and underline those. I feel like they would be great for teaching imagery, just pulling out some of those phrases. Um, the narrator that's reading the book, I hate how she does Kaya's voice. She's making me not like Kaya, but then on the other hand, I'm like, maybe I just don't like Kaya. I really like mommy, mommy, literature that plays mommy, with like nature versus civilization. Mommy, this goes all the way back to like medieval literature, but Kaya just doesn't make sense. I'm just not buying it. Like this is a pretty common trope, right? For like, like somebody raised by wolves or like a little orphan or you know, just somebody that's completely at one with nature. But she's also living like right next to civilization and like some of the things that she says, she wouldn't say or understand based on the way that she lived. And then like other things do make sense. I don't know, she just, I feel like, what's the author's name? Delia something? I feel like she's trying to like do something different with the like wild nature person. But for me, it's not really working. And then the two guys, Tate and Chase, I feel like are so stereotypical. Like Kaya is this really different character and then Tate and Chase, even like their names are just, now it feels like Riverdale or something. I will say though that I love reading popular books because reading is something that's such a solitary activity, but I love when it becomes social and people like talk about it on social media and post pictures on Instagram and do like book reviews on YouTube. So now that I am reading it and once I finish, I'm definitely gonna go on YouTube and like listen to what other people have to say and like read book reviews. Cause I think it's cool when lots of people have read the same book, but I, like I've definitely at this point wouldn't give it a high rating? I don't know, I'm I'm only on chapter 24, the fire tower. They just got to the fire tower, so um, I don't know, I'm suspending judgment. No, I'm not, I'm not suspending judgment, am I? <laughs> I don't have a full review, we'll put it that way, but uh, mm, I don't know, I just, I need to get to the end and, and see what happens. Try to, try to get all night. Try to get all night. 
Happy birthday all night. Jensen, happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to Jensen. How old are you now? Say, I'm three. Can you say, I'm three? I'm all done. You're all done? Here, he likes to see it this way.
Jensen wanted ice cream from the store. He was saying he wanted a drumstick. <laughs> and he's so happy with it and he's had to sit in the car for so many hours already. But I just don't want that thing in the rental car. So we are just sitting here while he enjoys it. <laughs> he's been singing songs to himself, looking out the window, huh? After 12 total hours, I finally finished Where the Crawdads Sing. And it's been number one on the like New York Times book list for like 13 weeks or something like that. And it's one of the Reese Witherspoon ones. She's kind of got like the new Oprah's book club going on, I guess. And normally I really like her picks. I liked, um, what is it, Big Little Lies. I thought that was interesting. I think she's doing one of the Celeste Ng books right now, which I'm really excited about. But I got to the end of Where the Crawdads Sing. I still don't like it. <laughs> One thing that really throws me off is where was Chase's wife all of this time? Like in the trial, everything, where was she? I think her name was Pearl. How come she never comes up? That was really strange, but even if she had been in the book more, I still wouldn't have liked it. The Marsh was definitely my favorite character. Tate was okay. Kaya is weird and unrealistic, and I just don't think that that is a plausible plot. The trial almost seems out of place in the end, and I just, I don't love it. I've been listening to like some reviews of it now. People say it's life changing. I'm like, I don't know, hasn't, <laughs> definitely hasn't changed my life. I put 12 hours into it and mm, not loving it, but um, I've got another one that I'm gonna listen to for the rest of the drive. Whoa. Jensen. <laughs> Cheese. You got you got an ice cream mustache. It's yucky. It's yucky? yucky. Oh. Let's see. Next. A little audible. Alright, so <laughs> should I review this? I don't really want to review it. I don't want to give it a bad review. It just wasn't my cup of tea, but that's fine. Let's see. Okay. All right, so here's the next one that I'm gonna do. Let's see, oh, should I download it? I need to figure out how to delete this one. I guess I should download this one. It's called Ask Again Yes. This is another one that Instagram told me is good, so I hope it really is. <laughs> Sounds like it's more character driven, so maybe I'll like this one a little bit better. All right, well, I'm gonna wait for this to download, I guess and wait for Jensen to finish his ice cream. We've spent the last couple days in the pool. We desperately need like proper showers. Jensen needs a haircut. I need an eyebrow wax. Absolutely need to do my hair. This is, this is sad. We need to wash our clothes. We actually stayed an extra day. We just, you know, wanted to hang out with everybody a little bit longer. So we stayed an extra day. So we're in like dirty clothes. <laughs> we are just a mess right now. It was a great trip though. We'll recap with you in just a little bit here. Let's figure out this ice cream cone situation. <laughs> so we are home and sweating. It's like 102 in LA now. It just suddenly became summer. And I haven't even been able to like look back and see all of the footage that I got while we were on our road trip and with my family, but I think it's a little bit like disjointed. But the one theme that seems to tie this video all together is books. I was listening to my books on the way up, so yeah, I didn't love Where the Crawdads Sing, but then on the way back I was listening to Ask Me Again Yes, and I think I'm maybe like halfway through. It's so hard to tell on Audible. I don't I don't prefer things on Audible. I'd rather just read the book, but um, I am like a hundred times more engaged in that story, and I really, really like it. I also have a few other new books. Well, some used books actually, and some new books, so I thought I would end this vlog with a little book haul. Just show you some stuff that came in the mail while we were gone. And I just have to say before I show you these books, like it was so nice to get out of town and see my family. It was like a full on family reunion on my mom's side. I haven't seen all of those people at one time in like years and years. So that was really cool. My grandma is in like her 70s. She's probably like 75 or something. And she still works out all the time. She started a line dancing team with her friends and they have regular gigs. She was trying to teach me one of her routines. It was like very complex. I, I couldn't even get it. So she's like super active and funny. My aunts from Alaska were there. They're just like so good with all of the kids. They're so much fun. My aunt is a physical therapist. 
she has her own practice in Alaska. My other aunt works in the emergency room. They just like always have these really funny stories. They like built their own cabin. They, you know, fish for their own salmon. We had some of their smoked salmon for dinner. And then my uncle was there and he's like only a few years older than me. And he actually married one of my friends. He came to live with us. Mm, I think he lived with us like when he was little and then like after college. And so then like after college, he was hanging out with me and one of my friends who's like a little older than me. So anyway, they ended up getting married, but I hadn't seen them in forever. So I got to see my friend and my uncle and their kids and my parents and my sisters and my sister's kids. So it was, it was really cool to see everybody. So now we are finally back. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Also, this is my first real day with nothing to do. I was supposed to have jury duty, but I was late. And so they just don't let you in if you're late. So I have to like reschedule for two weeks from now. But anyway, so then I had the day, I had to go drop off my keys at work, but um, I went to the movies cause I love going to the movies by myself during the daytime. And I saw Booksmart. So another book thing, it's really funny. It's like really raunchy, but it is really funny. <laughs> It was one that I was kind of glad to just like see by myself. It was six bucks though, cause it was like a Tuesday morning. So, I mean, can't beat that. And then while I was at the mall, I found this um, used book stand that they have every so often. I was like, oh, maybe I'll grab like a book or two. And I got five cause I just could not help myself. So I got this one and I put these on Instagram and everybody so far has said that they really liked this one. So hot in this apartment. <laughs> Whew. Uh, anyway, this one is The Namesake. Apparently it's also a major motion picture. I have not heard of this movie, but I'll have to look it up after I read the book. I started this one. I just sat at the mall and read it. It's really good so far. Uh, Freedom Song is the next one that I got. Yeah, I kind of want to read this one next. It looks really good. This is another like highly acclaimed one on Instagram. Although you all also liked where the crawdads sing so i don't know if i can trust you <laughs> no this one looks better uh never let me go apparently is this also a movie somebody someone said something about a movie but maybe they meant the other one i don't know but this one very very highly acclaimed by my instagram fam um and then naked by david sedaris i've read some of his books but not this one so i'm excited for that one and then the bookseller of Kabul. Now that I'm back from our little road trip, I won't be doing much traveling over the summer, but I do feel like this. This is a great way to travel. I also came home to a package from Simon Kids and they send me books for like my classroom and then also for Jensen. So I always get a nice little mix of like children's books and young adult books and they're new ones. So it's never really anything I've heard of, but um, they look really cool. This one is white, so it's hard to see. This is called Honeybees and Frenemies, the summer before eighth grade. Okay, it just sounded like a fun one for my classroom. And then the other three actually are more like Jensen books. This one is called Bilal Cook's Doll. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's like an Indian dessert. So I thought this would be a fun one to reach Jensen. And then, you know, like you can always bring kids books into middle school every so often just to kind of switch things up a bit. So maybe I'll use that. I don't actually know much about this one. I just thought it was funny because it's called I'm Sad. And now when Jensen cries, like he'll start crying about something and he'll say, I'm crying. I'm like, yes, I, I see that. <laughs> so this one just seemed appropriate. And this one also looked very beautiful, Layla in Saffron. Oh my gosh, look at the back cover. So pretty. So I'm excited to jump into all of those. The other like sort of book that I came home to was this box. This is my planner from For the Love of Pi. Look how cute her boxes are this year. I just love them. So I'll have to do another video that is a more in-depth review of this planner, but just to give you a little sneak peek, I got this one because it matches my Instagram so well. <laughs> The pages, I can already tell, are just like so smooth and silky. So I think actually today, I think in just a minute, I'm gonna start filling some stuff in in this one. And then later when it's not so hot, I'll make a video about everything that's in that one. Oh. oh, dear. Okay, and then lastly, since we're doing a haul, I was at the mall and I went to Lush. 
and they are very like eco-friendly with their packaging they have a lot of vegan products they have a lot of fair trade products so they are one of my favorite companies and then also in here um when i went to visit my parents they have a super walmart which is like the direct opposite of lush but um they don't have very many walmarts like around here where i am but we had to go there for a few things and i was checking out their cosmetics section and they were like very well stocked since it was a super walmart and everything really was way cheaper so first i'll show you the the cheap stuff that i got these are my favorite drugstore mascaras so i love this one as a base l'oreal voluminous if i want to be like really extra extra with my lashes then i start with that and then i love this voluminous butterfly mascara is this also l'oreal yeah i guess i like l'oreal mascaras i'm wearing this one today just this by itself um and then this one i hope i got yeah the the waterproof in black and i like to use this one on my bottom lashes so that it doesn't transfer and then just to kind of like seal in all of the other mascara but then it's not like thick waterproof mascara all the way through that's really hard to get off i haven't done that whole like triple mascara routine in a long time but in case i want to <laughs> just got some backups and then, okay, these were like so cheap, but I love this foundation. This is one of my favorites. This is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. Oh good, it has SPF of 20, and my shade is MW2. It's a really light coverage, kind of like dewy foundation. If you like like matte full coverage, this is definitely not one that you would like, but it's a really good one for summer. And this was $11 at Walmart. When I bought it at Rite Aid, it was like $22. So I was like, what, 11 bucks? I'm just gonna grab two. And I already have one, so these are my backups because I like it that much. And then I went into Lush for this. And just so you know, you can rinse out all of these pots and take them back so that they can recycle them and reuse them. And then you get like a free face mask if you have five of them, so. I have done that several times, <laughs> but. Anyway, this is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. It's kind of a different product because it's not like a body wash. Actually, I needed a body wash, dang it, why didn't I get one? <laughs> Forgot about that. But um, this is a, a conditioner, so you put it on like after a body wash and it just smells so dang good. Mm, this is like my favorite smell. And you just rub it in, you don't really rinse it off. It's like the last thing you do in the shower and then when you get out, your skin is already like moisturized. And it feels really good and i was telling the girl there that i like to use it as um shaving cream but she was like that's a little bougie because you're kind of like using that up <laughs> when it's an expensive product so she recommended the prince shaving cream because it's cheaper so she was like use this for shaving cream and then just use this without shaving it off or washing it off it doesn't it doesn't have too much of a uh, fragrance so anyway yeah these are my my two lush products for the summer because they are very expensive all right, well, thank you for coming along to our little family reunion. So nice that it's finally summer. It hasn't really sunk in yet because like, we just like left for vacation right after school got out and then we just got back and today was kind of a crazy day. But it is time to cool down. So I will see you in my next video on Sunday and I hope you have a great week, guys. Bye.